Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about a very big issue for Windows users. As far as I know this affects Windows 8 up, so Windows 10, 8.1, possibly even Windows 7. I'm not sure how many generations back this goes, but it is a very big issue and the issue I'm talking about is the Windows File Explorer Undo command. Now, if you probably get into the guts of stuff, and you've, um, especially for Windows, and you've been really trying to improve your speed, especially if you've been doing a daily render series like uh, I've been doing here, where every day you make something and uh, put it out, you've probably tried to find as many shortcuts as possible to speed up your workflow. By that, I mean if you right click and do new and folder, and you decide you don't want that folder, you can just do control Z on your keyboard and it'll undo that, which is very nice and handy. A lot like in Cinema 4D here, if we make a cube and we do Control Z, we'll undo the creation of that object, which is kind of nice. As well, we can also do Control Y, like in Cinema 4D, and we'll put the folder back. It's interesting how, how Windows design and controls match that to Cinema 4D. It's very universal, I believe. But here is something that is very interesting, and this is a big reason why you'd never, ever, I want to stress this as much as I can ever want to get into the habit of doing control Z or control Y in your file explorer and here is why I'm going to delete this I'm going to go into cinema 4d and I'm going to make a cube and I'm going to copy it I'm going to put this over here we're going to make a very simple scene right now I'm going to save my file I'm going to do save as and under my dailies where I normally would make a daily say I'm doing a daily right here I normally would right click create new folder and call this daily and this would be daily uh, 168 so we'll call this daily 168 we'll open it up and uh, what I also normally do is I will uh, right here I'll just do uh, I'll copy the name of this so I don't have to write it twice because I'm lazy I'll open it up and call this daily 168 and I'll save it now what we'll do is we'll create um, some type of animation we'll make it very simple we'll just select both of these cubes pull them to the left put their um, coordinates down here and we'll go to frame 90 and we'll pull them over here and we'll lock them down as well so when I click play we have them not animate across the board because I had both of them selected. I need to put them both under a... No. Oh, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Sorry about that. We want to be under coordinates. Uh, I got too focused there. So we're going to go to here. We're going to set our position, and we're going to go to the end, and we're going to keyframe our position. Sorry about that. Deal, deal with me here a little bit. Sorry about that. But there we go. We have our little animation going here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pause it, and I'm going to hit Control S to save. And I'm going to open this up, and we're going to save our file. Is Let's just say a Photoshop PST at 16-bit. We're going to pick our save location. Let's save this under daily, 168, the new folder we just created. I like to create a PSD folder. I'll just call this PSD. And uh, put this in here, and we shall name it daily 168. So we'll save, and under output, I'll do all frames and we'll do an 800 by 600 standard nothing too special and we'll let her render and uh, I also forgot to check on we'll cancel this actually because I forgot to check on oh actually it already did it already has saved check so we're gonna do this it's gonna ask us are you sure you want to overwrite them yes so uh, we're doing this rewriting the files and you'll see in our folder down here daily 168 we have our PSTs in here very nice they're rendering out we're gonna get all 90 of them now that that's complete, we can see there's our animation. And at this point, say, per se, let's just pretend that this was a five hour project and it was something much more grand looking than this. And I say, okay, I'm done. I have this rendered out. I've created my project. I've just spent five hours doing this. I'm going to take a break now. I close this. I close here. I save one more time because I'm paranoid. Yes. And say, for some reason, you were working in another folder and you created a new an empty folder and you said, no, I don't want that. I'm going to do control Z. Say you accidentally tapped it too many times. Control Z. Then control Z again. Then control Z again. Now bear with me here. Look what happened. The name of the folder changed. I did it that many times. The folder is gone. If I was in another area, say perchance I was underneath um, my local disk for example, or I was in another folder of videos. Either way, this is gone. I can do Control-Y 
to bring this back, right? And I can go through and try and bring them all back, but your Windows computer will not be able to hold this. Now, let me stress the intensity of what just happened here. This has not been deleted. When I did Control Z, as in Cinema 4D, the file simply undid the creation. It never existed in the first place. You'll see my recycle bin here. There is some junk, but they're all empty folders. Now, I'm going to restore them. I'm going to restore each and every one of them to prove this point. Every new folder here is going to be restored. Every, my trash can is now empty. Let's see what we have in here. New folders. Empty. Does not exist. I can go back. I can go forward. They do not exist anymore. It undid their existence. I can tell you this is an extremely big deal. I would really appreciate it if everybody watching this video send it out, relink this, let everybody know this is an extremely big problem. Let Windows know that this needs to not happen. In my personal opinion, if I do an undo, it should be the same as a delete if that asset was created and it puts it in the trash can. At the very least, if I undo something that I created, it should go to the trash. That means, yes, it's going to mean some headache where I will have to empty my trash, but that's only a few clicks. And let me tell you, I spent five hours modeling this sword right here and accidentally undid it and came back and it was gone and I had no clue why. Now, you can do you can do all these tests if you'd like that I, I have already done. I'll tell you ahead of time. I've won through. I've checked the directories. I've checked the creation of the folder. And if we go back to that file that we just created now and just lost, if we would have gone through and searched for it, it would not exist. And in fact, in Cinema 4D, if we'd open it back up, and I'll show you right now, we're going to open Cinema 4D back up. And uh, we're going to have, there's a little setting in there. As soon as it boots up, I do have some plugins, so it's going to take some time. But uh, now that it's open, I'm going to do File and do Recent Files. And look, here's Daily 168. Oh, boy, maybe we can get to it. I click it, unable to open file. It no longer exists. It can't be found. This is an extremely big problem, and I'm sorry I've been rambling on about this, but I've lost my... Uh, I'm not going to go on too much about all the things I've lost. This is the... I've had it hit me very hard two times. One where I lost that sword that took five hours of modeling. And, oh, well, I'll get over it. And then the other one was just today's daily render here, which was this hour-long render of 60 frames of my latest daily, which you can check out on my website. A little advertisement coming up if you want. You can see it in the bottom right corner. Down here is my address, which will take you basically to here. And you can scroll down to the bottom and click on right there to check out my Instagram, which is this was yesterday's daily. But um, feel free to check that out if you'd like. little commercial there, but very, very big deal here. And you can search directories. I've gone through and searched my system. That's not a word, searched. I've s done searches on my system and have looked for the creation of it. I've gone through and viewed every file. I've gone through my security software, Norton Security Suite, checking what happened, what was created, what wasn't created. I've searched for my objects. I've viewed them at date of creation. I can't exactly remember all this stuff. There's like a history thing you can go through. And basically what it'll say is it'll show the creation of the file all the way up to you created daily 168, which is what we had. And it'll show the creation of the PSD folder. It'll show the creation of the files. And it says, and it'll show the date at 902 or 90, 9 o'clock on the dot, whenever I did that. It'll show that. Beyond that point, it just, boom, ceases to exist. It just disappears, which is what happened. Because when you do control Z, it undoes the creation that it ever existed in the first place. It just doesn't exist anymore. Now, to be realistic, what is actually happening is it is being technically deleted. It's just taking that piece on the drive that was filled up with that data and basically says this is now vacant. It's not being read anymore, and we can overwrite this because all your drive is is a bunch of zeros and ones on it. But it's no longer being read, and it's no longer being moved to a new directory in your trash can. So technically you could pull it out. It's like deleting something off of an SD card or a photo. You could pull that back out of there. But if you have a hard drive like mine that is a three terabyte media drive is what I have, packed with all these like two terabytes now I filled it up of data, it would be a complete nightmare to go through that. It's uh, either way, it's not a happy scenario. So the best advice I can give to any Cinema 4D user, any Maya user, or any user who uses their computer, period, at all, do not ever get into the habit of doing Control-Z on your keyboard. Do not do undo. Do not do redo. You only delete. 
and you only create. You do not touch those. I would really appreciate it if anybody watching this would share this video. I would really appreciate it if anybody who watched this contacted, um, contacted Microsoft, as I'm going to be doing, and hound this on them in a polite, very polite and nice way. Let's be, let's be nice to them, but be very adamant that this feature must be changed. Because if I, by accident, right now, literally, because I haven't done enough strokes yet, even with the, what I've done now, I could lose my entire daily system right here. If I do control Z enough times, this folder would disappear because it would go back far enough and I would lose this whole entire hour's worth of render I did again today. I would lose, if I went far enough, if I went far enough, I could have lost and I was so close. When I checked my daily today after I did it, the folder changed name back to unnamed folder, and all existed was the file and the name. If I would have gone one step further, I would have lost my entire daily, but by some miracle, I did not go that far. So here I am rambling on, but uh, I just, again, want to really push the intensity of this. And I really would appreciate it if anybody would uh, pass this information along, tell anybody else would really like it. But thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial. I really appreciate it. I hope that by me sharing this, I've saved you some massive amount of stress or problems or issues or anything else that could have came up with this. Or in the long run, I hope that what I showed you today has either given you huge preventative protection to keep this from happening to your stuff, or at least gives you the knowledge of knowing what happened. Because if you lost it like I did and it just didn't exist there, and you're just like, what the heck? I know I made that. I know I saved it there and it's gone. You probably would spend hours like I did running around on the internet trying to find an answer of what exactly happened with about no actual results and nobody really knowing what happened. I literally just figured this out today after a lot of tests. And uh, this is the case. So at the very least, I hope I can give you a peace of mind in knowing what you can do to prevent this from happening in the future if it already did, if you already are a victim of this huge, huge issue here. But, um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Hey, guys, have one last thing to add. If you have an SD card and you plug it into your computer and you copy the files over, like most people do, into a folder, per se, that you created, and then you then delete the files off the SD card, as most people do, and then eject the card, if you do Control-Z, it'll also undo the adding of those files, making it non-existent that they ever went to your computer, meaning that... It never got transferred in the first place as far as your computer is concerned, which really is a bummer because that means all the files that were on your card originally have been deleted, possibly emptied the recycle bin as well. Hopefully you didn't at this point because your files are literally gone and no longer exist, period. This could be very bad if you recorded a lot of footage. So this issue goes beyond just people who use 3D applications like I do on Cinema 4D or whatnot and uh, goes um, much deeper than... Um, just particular users. I believe this issue affects every single user, almost every single user on Windows, and this is an extremely big problem. In my opinion, the biggest problem with Windows right now and should be the top of the list in fixing. Granted, not many people even know about the undo functionality in a folder, but if you accidentally bump it, it's really not that hard to do Control z by accident, especially if you're somebody who does this a ton in 3D applications, including Photoshop and Cinema 4D, 3DS Max, Maya, you name it, it's there all the way down to Unreal Engine. So thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate this, and I would really love for everybody who watches this to please spread the word, share this video, at least please share this information. Let anybody you know that uses Windows about this problem. I am not a huge Apple fan by any means on that to mean that I'm not knocking Windows by any means here. I just, uh, I'm a huge fan of Windows. I enjoy them. I have nothing against them, nothing against Apple either. Just want to let you guys know that I'm not doing this just to knock using Windows. I prefer Windows over Mac and it's just my preferred operating system. I just feel like this is a very big issue that should be resolved. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it, whoever made it this far through the video. Really appreciate that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. And please give me a note in the comments if your feelings are more complex than that, or if you know some type of fix or anything about how I can turn this off. Maybe it's a bug with my own computer. Maybe there's ways to fix this. Maybe there's people already out there who figured out a way of how to get rid of this problem or anything like that. 
Really appreciate any type of comments any way whatsoever. Thank you guys for watching.